All right, adventurers. Welcome back to All Play. We are continuing with our Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. Uh, we just got, for those of you who didn't see the last episode, first off, you probably want to check that out because we're covering the rules of the Nuzlocke in that episode. I'll tell you as everything activates and when it happens, but you probably need to know the rules before you check it out. If you didn't see last episode, or if you remember where we left off with last episode, we just got the mysterious egg or the mystery egg from Mr. Pokemon and Professor Oak gave us a Pokedex to check out. He only gives those to people that he finds to have a gift of some sort. Uh, and we also got our Piplup, our lovely Perry the Piplup. He's, he's taking charge for two steps of claps this time. Uh, Perry, you have a big, big lot of shoes to fill. <laughs> he still wants to go back to lab. Well, that's where we're headed, buddy. We're heading back to lab because we got a phone call from Professor Elm and something happened. Something happened. We got to head back. So let's go head back. Now, remember, we still can't catch Pokemon yet. So the rules of Nuzlocke have not exactly all the way turned on just yet. I mean, we nicknamed Perry. That's about it. That's really the only rule that we have to worry about for the time being. Meanwhile, we're going to pound this ladybug. We're going to pound this ladybug. She going to get or he going to get the bit. Is he faster than us? That makes me sad. Cause we're like twice as many levels as him. That makes me sad. It's okay though. It's okay though. Oh, we're gonna be stopped. We're gonna get stopped the entire way. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned was that I love this generation's soundtrack. It's more or less my favorite Pokemon game when it comes to music. There, I have the least complaints about the music in this game compared to all of the other games. Uh, what I'll probably do is I'll compile a list of my favorite songs within Gen 2, within uh, Johto. Uh, I want to try my best to keep it just to the city music, the music within the cities and towns and things like that, because otherwise we'll have a huge list of songs that you might not even remember. So we're going to start with Cherry Grove. Once we get back, I'll hear it. Uh, and then I'll, when I'm, when I'm editing, I'll sit and I'll have it written out the order in which I think they are the best or worst. Uh, man, it's great to be playing this. <laughs> My mind is still a little bit blown that I'm actually here recording. All right. Come on, Perry. You got to fight the Caterpie. You got to pound the Caterpie. He going to string shot you to death, family. Come on. Perry's actually leveling up pretty darn quickly. I don't remember... I don't remember leveling Pokemon up this quickly when I was doing Heart Gold. I remember it took forever. As a matter of fact, Gold version by itself, the original, not the remake. Gold version took forever as well. But Perry is... Perry is making a light work of everything. Perry is making light work of everything. We got another amulet coin? Perry's still holding his coin. And we just picked up another. Why would I need two amulet coins? It doesn't stack. It doesn't stack. Like, when I say stack, normally what that would mean is if we send out Perry. Remember, the amulet coin's job is if a Pokemon that is holding it is sent out in the battle, the money that you receive for that battle is double. But it doesn't stack. So if I had another Pokemon and I gave that the amulet coin, and I sent out both Perry in that Pokemon, I should receive four times as much money if it stacks. But it doesn't. It doesn't stack. Why are there two amulet coins? It was because items are randomized. I randomize items as well. So we might not run into anything that you normally should, which could be good or bad. Huh? Hey, look at this guy. You got a Pokemon in the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna fight this guy. We're gonna fight this guy. We're gonna fight boy. Passerby boy. Passerby boy has a Charmander. Where have we seen a Charmander before? Use the bubble. Perry's gonna use bubble, which is a water type attack. Water type attacks are good against fire type Pokemon like Charmander. So it's gonna do a lot of extra damage. Which is good, because we need to win this. 
Perry! <laughs> You're doing okay for someone so weak. Perry, catch him with another bubble! And I don't want to hear anything else about it. Charmander's out. He's dead. I killed him. He's gone. Perry with all the experience. Good work, boy. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest trainer. Pokemon trainer. Give that back. It's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. Fun fact, that's completely changed to how, from how I should say, from how Generation 2 handle it. The original gold and silver versions. Uh, another apricorn tree. This is a green apricorn, it seems. Yes. All right. So that situation has completely changed from how it happened in Gen 2 back in, what, 2000, 2001? What it was, he would just walk away and actually didn't say it was Passerby Boy. would say, uh, you start a battle with question mark, question mark, question mark. They changed that because kids were dumb back then and they didn't realize uh, what's about to happen shortly. Uh, I almost ruined the entire thing. If they didn't realize, I'll continue the other half of this story when we get there. Metapod. Perry, we're not going to fight this Metapod. Not today. Uh, go, get, go get your levels. Fine, Perry. You can get your levels. Get your levels. Everybody get your levels. Everybody. Everybody get your levels, please. Give them the business. Almost. Almost gave him the entire business. All right, Perry. One more. P a pound should do it. Pound should do it, right? Okay, I'm about to say his defense can't be that high. He's level four. Perry with the level up. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Joke's on me. He's not leveling up. Joke's on me. Oh, joke's on me. All right. Oh, wow, Combi. Curtis. Uh, f fine, fine, Perry. We can level up here. You can go ahead. You go ahead and level up here, Perry. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, Gus. We really need a Combi. It would be really nice to have a Combi on the team. Because it seems like that's the only one that knows a, a move with a type besides Perry. It knows Gus, which is a flying type attack. That would actually probably be very helpful. Dead crit, though. Go ahead, Perry. Show him what you're working with. Are we back? Oh, we're back home. Oh, we made it back home. With very, very little to no problem, we made it back home, ladies and gentlemen. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it? Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was a red haired boy looking into the building. What, you bowed a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? That's why this here, right here, is why it said passerby boy. And back in the day, you say pa uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Because it's going to ask me to give him the name of this boy. And kids were dumb enough to put question mark, question mark, question mark. Because they thought that was his name. They thought his name was Mark. So guess what? Guess what? Guess what? This is Mark. <laughs> this is Mark. No, it's not going to be Mark. Uh, I always call this guy... Silver, because I like to keep in canon with the with the manga, the Pokemon Adventures manga. It's actually pretty dope. If you haven't read it, you should read it. It's a really interesting spin on Pokemon. It's pretty nice. This guy was Silver. Oh, I see. So Silver was his name. Yes, it, yes it was. Yes it was. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-headed individual. Chill! 
I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. She really just came in for that. She knew at the exact moment that they were going to be like, you did it. And she bust in. She bust in like, no. Nah! <laughs> Chill. This is terrible. Oh, oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? We hand him the mystery egg. He, he can have the mystery egg for us. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Chill, is that true? Th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of, poke po 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 of, of people as trainers! Wow, Chill, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon really seem to like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League champion. Or not. <laughs> Becoming the champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Chill. Challenging the gym scattered around the long... What? Challenging gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Fine, we'll go talk to our mom. But Perry, how do you feel about us going talk to Bomb? Pokemon stretch out his body and is relaxing. Fine, fine. If anybody wants us to go check out and talk to Bomb, we're gonna go check out and talk to Mom. All right? Fine, fine. So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know. Every time you receive prize money. I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money for you? Yes. Yes, I do. I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now go on. That should be Team Snaps and Claps motto. I don't think we had a motto last. Did we have a motto last time around? Other than y'all, please get this crit so we don't die. <laughs> I think that should be our motto. How you guys feel about that? Let me know in the comment section how you feel about that being our motto. All right, so we talked to mom. Does anybody else? Does anybody else want us to do anything else before we leave this city? I don't even like this song. No. All right, cool. We out. Cool. We out. No. There you are! Chill! You can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs! Follow me! She's gonna show us how to do how to do Pokemon battles and catching. Watch. What? Just like that! Huh? Was I too fast? I'll try again. Come this way! All right, now she's actually gonna show us. Ugh, cause that nonsense from before. A tie rogue? How you found a tie rogue here? Cause all we found were Metapod and Cone Beef, Emma Lamb. Pause, pause. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Where'd you get the Marowak from? Why is he doing growl? I thought you were trying to show us how to catch Pokemon. Please tell me he knows something other than growl. I didn't get a look at his move set. His HP is down! Excuse me! Excuse me! His HP is not down! What is going on right now? This is why you shouldn't randomize Pokemon games. Because you have stuff like this happening. I hope the game's not broken. I'm going to be upset. What just happened? All right. See, just like that. It's better to lower your targets, your target HP more than I did. You didn't. You didn't at all. Or make you sleep or something. You can try all kinds of things to see what works. I'll give you these. Good luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We just got some poke. Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that. I got gas. Uh, we just got some pokeballs from Lyra. 
the Nuzlocke is about to begin for real, for real. All right, now that we have the opportunity or the ability, I should say. Now that we have the ability to catch Pokemon, the Nuzlocke is in full effect. Whatever we run into first, next on this route, is whatever we have the opportunity to catch. We don't get to catch everything on this route, just whatever we're about to run into now. There's no way it can be dupes claws, unless there's a Piplup in, in this route somewhere. All right, what we go catch? Please don't be a Metapod. It's a Combi. Oh, it's a male Combi. Oh, d dig it. Dig it. All right, so we're going to have a Combi on the team if Perry doesn't murderize it. Perry is actually very high level. Very high level. Damn, that's good, Perry. All right, so we're going to try and catch this, uh, try and catch this Combi. We'll go to the Pokeballs. We lowered his health into the yellow. That's a pretty safe area. Yeah, we got a combi on the team. I said all oh, combis are male because male combi don't evolve. Only female combi evolve into Vespaquin, which is the next next level. Let's read this Pokedex entry. At night, combi come out. Uh, combi sleep in a group of about a thousand, packed closely, typed together in a lump. That's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy. It's the tiny bee Pokemon. All right. Uh, Combi, what are we gonna name Combi? What are we gonna name Combi? Combi, Combi. All right, I got Combi. Combi, this is Buzz. Buzz the Combi. Yes, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. All right, so we can't really send Combi out. Actually, we can. Remember, there's nothing but uh. Combi and Metapod on this route. It's got Sweet Scent! Yo, that's dope! Sweet Scent's a good move when you want to catch Pokemon. It's, it sucks otherwise. I'm pretty sure it sucks otherwise. Oh, look at that. Combi's behind us. Hey, Combi. What's wrong with him? Oh, he's dizzy. He's dizzy because his health is low. So we're going to switch him. Oh, he's got an item too! He's got a mu- Yo! He's got a muscle band. Is it muscle band good for training? Yo, this game is broken. <laughs> it's a headband that slightly boosts the, the power of physical moves. This game is broken. Oh, snap. We got uh, we got two amulet coins and a, and, a, and a muscle band. Perry, you're going to chill up front with us. I don't want to see Combi running behind us. All right, we're going to run back to uh, Cherry Grove City. We're going to heal up. And then we'll begin heading towards the next city. I believe it was Violet. I believe Elm said we went ahead to Violet City to go to the first gym. There's a total of eight gems in each region. Except for Gen 7. But we don't talk about Gen 7. Because we were raised better. <laughs> we were raised right. Alright, so Perry's going to give a good old Metapod here the business. Wow, we got to Oh, come on, don't do this. Don't do this. I'm trying to get to the next city. All right. We haven't actually gotten into any true battles yet. We've just been fighting wild Pokémon. There's no good place for fighting wild Pokémon, but there's nothing There's nothing Oh, I'm sorry. We fought the we fought our rival. There's nothing like fighting in a, a Pokémon battle, especially when we get to make money. Well, you make money at the. It's, it's ultimately Pokemon's about dog fighting, uh, but you make money when you win battle and when you lose. When you lose battle, you give up. I think it's half. I think it's still half in this game. Half you lose half your money. All right, now we can head back out. We can do it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna head north from here. And we're back on Route 30. Now we're on a new route. We have a new opportunity to catch. Later on, we'll be able to catch things here in Cherry Grove City. But there's no grass. There's only water. So when we find ways to go in this water here, we will have an opportunity to catch something in Cherry Grove. But we can't worry about that right now. Let's worry about our catch here on Route 30. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? It's a Cascoon. Cascoon only knows Harden. Cascoon will not be able to fight for itself. Kind of scared to put a Cascoon on Team Snaps and Claps, to be very honest with you all. 
But we gonna try. Oh, we's gonna try. Come on. All right, we got a Cascoon. We got a Cascoon. Cascoon is okay. He's okay because of what he evolves into. Question is, what does Cascoon evolve into? <laughs> the Cocoon Pokemon. It endures attacks with patience because the more pain before evolution, the sturdier it becomes. It's a, cas it's a cocoon Pokemon. What is this? What is this? This one? This Cascoon? I know we go call this one. I don't think I had anyone named this on uh, in our Fire Red playthrough. This is Mystery. Mystery the Cascoon. I named him that. Oh, we're going to go back and heal. We're going to go back and heal. I guess I'll save this after I heal. I'm going to do a quick jump cut, all right? All right. Cool. So I named Cascoon Mystery because Cascoon, Cascoon used to be a Wormpool. Wormpool evolves into Cascoon, but it also evolves into Silcoon. It has a branch evolution. It can be the worm pole can become one of two Pokemon. One of them is this Cascoon, and the other is Silcoon, which looks just like this, except it's white. It's white instead of that that kind of pinkish color. And because of that, I can't remember which one it becomes which. One of them becomes a Beautifly, the other becomes a Dustox. There, I know so much about Pokemon. I played this game growing up. I played all these games growing up. I still play them to this date. But one of the things I cannot remember is, what does Cascoon evolve into? Which one? Which one is it, ladies and gentlemen? Jesus. My memory is trash. Hashtag trash bag when it comes to memory, boy, I tell you. All right. Come on, Perry. Give him the business. All right, one more should do. One more should do. One more is done. One more is done. All right. So we're not going to go to the right like we're going to Mr. Pokemon's house. Instead, we're going to go over here to the left where there are trainers abound. Here's the trainer. Let's get into this battle. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Oh, he finna get this work. He finna get this work. Come on, youngster Joey. He's got a Hulpip. A level four Hulpip. Oh, you finna get this work. Work is gonna be gotten by you. Here's a pound. We can't use Bubble because Hulpip is grass type. Before I mentioned that Bubble was strong against Charmander because Charmander is fire type. But grass is strong against water, so the water attack won't do so much against Hopip. Sadly, though, in my time of explaining that, Hopip has died. <laughs> All I knew was Splash, man. It was going to die. I'm sorry, Joey. I'm sorry. Not really. Hey, can I get your number? I'll ring you up to battle. We got Youngster Joey's number, y'all. I'll ring you up whenever I get the urge to battle. Go back to school, kid. Go back to school. I hate to be a downer, but don't do Pokemon. Just stay in school. You're a trainer, right? Then you have to battle. I don't have to. But if you want, we can arrange some time to do so. Come on, Mikey. Mikey got a Spinarak. Spinarak's dope. I like Spinarak. Come get this work, Spinarak. Here's a bubble for your soul. Almost took him out in one shot. Almost got him with that Oko. And one hit KO. Come on, Perry. Give him the business. Ooh, give him the business. Yeah. All right. So Perry's going to uh, get a lot of experience. What we're going to do is uh, Mikey's going to send in Zubat. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to uh, Buzz. Oh, not Buzz. Let's switch to Mystery. I want Mystery to come out of that cocoon. Come on, Mystery. Mystery against Zubat. Zubat's flying tie. We actually need to get him out of there. We're going to get him out of there for many reasons, but one of them is that his opponent is flying type while he is a bug. Bugs suck against flying types. For those of you who don't know, now you do. I have changed your life forever. He's got the leech life. That's actually a bug type, I believe, right? I think bug, leech life is bug type. I don't remember. I don't use it. It's trash. Let's take trash back. 
Come on, Perry. This song, this battle song, one of my favorites in the entire series. It's beautifully arranged. Beautifully. Come on. Yeah, uh, Perry with the kill. Perry with the kill. Uh, Perry's going to get 22, and he's going to level up all the way to level 11. Oh, and he learned water sport. That's a lovely move that we're never, ever going to use. Mystery's going to gain 22 experience. All right. We are almost to our next city. We're probably going to stop once we get in the city. I don't want these episodes to go on too long, but I do want them to accomplish something. Here's another trainer. Can we walk? Yes, we can sneak past her. Here's another trainer. Can we... I think we can sneak past him, but we can't sneak past the next one. Let's see. Route 31. Hey, a new route, a new encounter, a new opportunity for an encounter. What are we going to run into? What are we going to run into, ladies and gentlemen? A Pidgey! Curtis! If we get Pidgey, we can already replace uh, Buzz. Buzz is not going to do so hot, to be honest. I just hope... I just hope Perry doesn't kill Pidgey. Good. Good. One thing, one thing our team is notorious for, Team Snaps and Claps in general, is notorious for is for killing our encounters, boy. Y'all make me sick. <laughs> Y'all make me sick. Come get this, Pidgey. Yeah! We got a Pidgey on the team, boys! We Pidgeys now, let's go! All right, let's check the Pokedex for Pidgey. Pidgey's actually a pretty good Pokemon. It's the tiny bird Pokemon. Common in grassy areas and forests, it is very docile and will chase off enemies by flapping up sand. Give it a nickname, of course. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Uh, Pidgey, it's a male Pidgey. I hope I did randomize the Pokemon. It seems like we did. We shouldn't be running into Cascoon, right? I, it, it, everything just seems very, very supposed to be. You know? It's weird. Except for that whole Marowak and Tyrogue business. Uh, Pidgey. What would you call, call Pidgey? I don't remember if I called... Let's see. I think I had a Pidgey. I think we had a Pidgey in our Fire Red playthrough. I, I doubt we named it Chuck. This is Chuck the Pidgey. Charles is his full name, but we're going to call him Chuck. Another encounter. What could we have had? A female Pidgey. All right. I mean, it's not too much of a trade-off. It's not too much of a trade-off. All right, let's see if we can sneak past. Oh, he doesn't want to fight. Good. Dark cave. If a Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. All right, so we're not going to go in the dark cave right now, if ever. We got us a hyper potion. Yes, that is randomized. Items are randomized. We are definitely not supposed to be picking up uh, hyper potions here. Definitely. We are too early in the game. This gent. Oh, huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. And for a while, if I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be an easy catch. Alright. This is a black apricorn, I want to say? Yep, black apricorn. Cool. Alright, let's head uh let's head out south of here. I'm gonna try and sneak past all the rest of the trainers. I don't want to get too over level. I don't want to get too over level. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pokemon have been randomized. Pokemon wild encounters have been randomized. We definitely should not run into Beldum right now. Let's give him the business. Catch him with a bubble. Catch him with L bubble. That's good. That's pretty good. Uh, Piplup. Piplup's, Piplup's pretty strong, yo. Hit with the recoil. All right. Go ahead, Pippi. Go ahead, Perry. Let's see. We're almost there. All right. What route is this? Okay, that's this is still Route 31. Good. I'm gonna say I'm glad I didn't waste my encounter. Uh, I thought that Beldum was it, but we're still on 31. All right. So this is the bridge. I shouldn't say a bridge. It's like a a gateway to lead to Violet City. I knew it was you, Chill. How did you get past me? Here's something neat for surprising me, Chill. Versus recorder. I was gonna say if I get another amulet coin, I'll be hot. I'm gonna be hot. The version recorder can report record your Pokemon battles. I have to go now. I won't let you pass me again. Let's go, Meryl. Her and Meryl. 
stay cute. All right, we're going to continue on, and we're going to reach Violet City. Violet City's music, it gets a thumbs up. I have to see where it is actually on my, my list, but by itself, it gets a thumbs up, not comparatively. All right, so we made the Violet City. There's a host of things that we can do here, but the first thing we're going to do is heal, and then we're going to save. We're going to call it a day, all right? So we're going to heal up in the city so the game recognizes that we have indeed been to Violet City. We've got two, po three Pokemon on the team. Two? We got, we got four. We got four. <laughs> we got four Pokemon on the team, guys. We can start looking at our team as we do recaps at the beginning now. All right. Let's see how Mer uh not Meryl, we don't have a Meryl, we have a, we have Perry the Piplup. Perry, how you feel about our adventure so far? He's stretched out and he's relaxing. Perry is pretty lazy. We got one of those on our team. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this episode of our Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. If you enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, and all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's the subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon, more challenges like the Nuzlocke run, and everything else that Alt Play has to offer. Thank you for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. I'm still, I'm still, still hyped up. I'm still hyped on up.